Taskit is a special productivity tool. It is an AI-powered app that was designed to manage your projects, tasks and workflows and automate repetitive to-dos. In this Taskit tutorial, I will show its key features, my thoughts about pricing, my experiences and ultimately how to implement it in your daily workflows. Let's dive in! Hey guys, it's good to have you here. Before we jump into this tutorial, I just wanted to let you know that I prepared a more detailed review article on Taskit that you can find in the description. Also, I included a link to Taskit in the comments and in the description. So Taskit is a kind of lightweight project management app that helps you and your team to simplify your work life. The reason why I say that it is a lightweight project management app is that it is a relatively easy to use app, but on the other side, it lacks some advanced project management features like time trackers. Let's click on the login and sign into your Taskade account. If you do not have any, you can click here and quickly create one. It will take you to this page where you can access your workspaces. In your workspace, you can create separate folders. Let's say I want to have a folder for creating my content plan for 2025. Just click here, add an emoji and name, choose a color and select who should access it. Task case structure allows you to create separate folders for different teams, departments or use cases. Once you have the folder, it's time to create a new project. I will just create a project for my content plan for 2025. You can either choose a template, which is quite useful as you don't need to do the whole thing from scratch. On the left side, you will see all the templates from which you can choose. As you can see, there are a bunch of them and they are categorized into different types. Let's move forward with the Content Planner templates and I will choose the AI Carousel Content Planner. You just need to insert it in your workspace and that's it. Taskade implemented a task-based approach, so basically every object works like a task or a subtask. Press the tab and you can create infinite number of sublevels under your task. If you want to focus only one task at a time, hit the fold icon here and you can deal with that specific task. Once you finish the task, click on the checkbox and Taskade will update the progress bar above. Whenever you click on the plus icon, you can assign a task, add due dates, comments, timers, reactions or upload files. If you click on the three dots icon, you can easily customize, move it, apply tags and mention others. Above, you will see the small icons which are the view options. You can display the project differently. This means that apart from the list view, you can use board, calendar, table, mind map, org chart and Gantt chart views. Just for your note, you can only access the Gantt charts if you have paid plans. Also, do not forget that these are only views and not different projects, so if you make a change in one view, the data will change in other views as well. I love that you can change the views dynamically with a single click. Taskade's AI Assistant feature works similarly to other AI assistants in productivity tools. It helps you to summarize, rewrite and transform content. You can use it for a whole project or you can just simply select different sections where you want to use the AI assistant. If you want to ask questions about the whole project, you can do it on the right side and you can even select what person and what tone the AI assistant should interact with you. Overall, I think the AI assistant works great in a tool like Taskade. It can make your processes, writing and brainstorming faster and more efficient. It helps you to structure and break down your projects workflows and tasks without doing it manually. Nevertheless, in addition to the AI Assistant feature, Taskit has so-called AI agents. Let's check those as well. In short, AI agents are specialized AI assistant to automate specific tasks. For example, there are AI agents for project management, research or content creation. You can tailor your AI agents to your specific needs by adding sources and giving them instructions. If you click on the new tab up there, you will find the option to create an AI agent. You can describe what your agent should do, or you can just select one of the listed agents. Let's deploy a content writer. Yeah, I'm fine with this description. Let's hit the arrow and wait until Task it generates the AI agent. It takes around 30 seconds, and after that you can start to customize it. You can provide it with instructions on how it should help you, give some commands, and select its tools. If you are finished, just click on the Create and Launch agent. Once you are created your agent, you can access it in your workspace by clicking here. This window also offers the possibility to chat with this agent on the topic in which it's specialized. Furthermore, you can edit the instructions, tools and more if you click here. Let's say I want to hear what my content writer agent thinks about this task. To interact with it, you can select it from this list. 
Once it is selected, you can brainstorm with your agent in the chat tab. Taskgates automation feature allows you to streamline repetitive tasks by setting up triggers and actions. The automation feature is outstanding, as it integrates with many third-party apps like Google Sheets, Slack, WordPress, Webflow, MailChimp and so on. These extensive integrations help you to automate more tasks in your daily work, as Taskade integrates with popular third-party apps and you can set up triggers for those apps as well. Let me give you an example how this automation works. You can create a rule for sending Slack notifications if there is a new comment for your task in Taskade, or it can automatically create a task after a meeting is scheduled in Calendly. But these are the basics. If you click here, you can customize the rules of automation further, or you can completely start from scratch to put together the rules that fit your workflows perfectly. You can easily add and design your rules if you click here on the automation tab. Let's move on the note-taking capabilities. As you might have noticed, Taskgate has quite limited note-taking capabilities. Compared to note-taking apps like Notion, Obsidian, Anytype or Xtice, Taskgate lacks advanced note-taking capabilities. It misses some crucial tools like backlinks, features for organizing your notes or creating a database, etc. etc. But honestly, Taskgate was not designed for these workflows. Taskgate utilizes a task-based approach, so everything you write in Taskgate can be transformed into a task. And this approach can be quite useful in some cases, for example, meeting notes. You can instantly create tasks, summaries and organize this from your meeting notes using Taskade. On the same page, you can assign this task, add due dates and add comments to your team members. Furthermore, utilizing Taskade's AI capabilities in these workflows can really enhance productivity. Taskade is full of helpful collaboration features. You can share your workspaces, folders and projects with your team members if you want. To share your whole workspace, click here and share its link or send it in an email. You can also change the permission level, so if you want your team members only to view and not to edit your content, it is possible. It works similarly when sharing your projects and folders. Taskit has a pretty cool chat feature inside the app that allows smooth communication in your team. On the right side, you can access the chat. While clicking here, you can decide if you want to chat with Taskade AI and your team, only with your team, only with Taskade AI, or with one of your AI agents. You can upload files, share audio messages, mention others, and more. Moreover, Taskade has robust features when it comes to real-time collaboration. You can assign tasks to your team members, edit your projects together in real-time, and it has all the tools you need to create a knowledge management center for your business. Now, let's take a look at the pricing structure. Taskade offers three plans. The free plan includes one AI agent, one workspace, all the views except the Gantt chart, and five AI requests per day. This plan is ideal for individuals who use Taskade for personal use or just want to give it a try. The Taskade Pro is more suited to small teams and professionals using Taskade daily. It has all the features from the free plan and more. The Taskade Pro covers unlimited AI requests, custom AI agents, unlimited file upload, Gantt view, integrations and more. If you want to use all the features, you have to go with the Teams plan. It is ideal for teams and individuals who want to use Taskade without limits. The Teams plan includes multi-agent teams, unlimited workspaces, AI automation, version history, and share and embed functions. Considering the pricing of other project management and productivity apps, Taskade's pricing seems reasonable. Overall, I think Taskade is a fantastic tool for remote teams and people working with others a lot. Also, it is a good fit for teams and individuals as well that want to automate their workflows and save time. I particularly loved how they implemented the AI features inside this app, so I definitely recommend to give it a try. And just for your note, it has a mobile version as well, so you can access it from your mobile devices also. That was it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know if you have any questions regarding Taskade. Also, if you found this video helpful, please consider liking and subscribing. Catch you later, guys.